Hello ladies and gentlemen. Today is a momentous day. It is Valentine's Day, a day that is met with equal parts excitement, disgust, and indifference. I was always in the latter category and now I'm, uh, I obligatorily have to celebrate this day. It's fine. So anyways, today, on this special day, I'm going to tell you a little V-Day story about the most epic Valentine's Day that I have ever had, and possibly the most epic day that I have ever had. It starts long time ago. I was in middle school or so, 12, 13, and I danced at a studio. I did all the jazz, tap, ballet, hip hop, the whole shebang. And we'd occasionally have these competitions. Uh, now those of you that, um, those of you that dance in these studios or a lot of other like cheer and sports and whatnot, like you'll know what this is like. But for those of you that don't know, you show up at the venue and you'll have, you know, four or five dances that day, but they're so evenly spread out that you show up early in the morning and you stay the entire day because they're just spread out throughout the day and you leave at night. So you're stuck in this place for a whole day. I was part of a uh, small group of boys, it was mostly girls, but there was a little, little section of boys. We had our boys classes and then classes we were mixing with girls and so forth. So this day that we were there at this competition just so happened to be Valentine's Day. And um, there was one guy that all the girls liked. Every single girl, at least in our age group, had a crush on this guy. He was a pretty cool guy. Uh, I, I, I enjoyed hanging out with him, playing Warhammer and shit. And uh, so we were in the bathroom. And he comes up to me, and he's like, hey, I really like this girl. I think I want to ask her to be my Valentine Day. And my response was something along the lines of, dude, you're 12 years old. What the fuck are you thinking? Don't do it. You're like 12 years old. Unsatisfied with my response, he, he left. So later on, I come out in the lobby, and there is a crowd of people of... Well, mostly girls, because there are a crowd of girls, one and the few guys in their spurs. And they are just all in like a big, uh, like those balls that fish are in. What are those called? I don't even know. It's like a big feeding frenzy. And right in the middle was the guy, the girl that he liked, and he was just finishing up asking her to be his valentine. And as quickly as they gathered, they spread to the four corners of the theater. They were all over them. That's all they would talk about. All anybody would talk about. I'd walk up to somebody like, hey, how's it going? Oh my god, did you hear so and so and so? Well, like, yeah, I'm pretty sure A, everybody has, and B, I was kind of there. Uh, and I, I, yeah, now let's talk about something interesting. Nope, wouldn't have it. I even went up to some of the guys. Hey, let's talk about shit. Nope. Nope, they were just stuck, oh, obsessed on it. So I'm like, fine. Stupid ass kids. So I went and I sat with the parents thinking, I'm going to talk to these parents now. Hopefully this will be more entertaining. <sighs> Sorely disappointed. That's all they would talk about too. These are adults. The adults talking about their, like, obsessing on, like, the little romance between two 12-year-olds. I was like, God damn it, guys. You're killing me here. Dance moms are horrible. They are utterly horrible. They have TV shows about Dance Mom. I have never seen those shows, but I don't know how a reality show could ever possibly capture just the terrifying nature of a Dance Mom. So, there you have it. Little Spencer is bored as hell because he is stuck in this place all day and pretty annoyed, getting more annoyed by the minute. I can't talk with anyone. I have nothing to entertain me. So, I decide, hey, I'm going to fuck with this. I'm going to turn this into a game. I took it upon myself to raise hell and spread rumors just every chance I get. But I had to set guidelines, right? I had to set, I, I had to turn this into a game. So I had to set goals. I had to set guidelines. I wanted to turn this person against that person and these two against them and get these people to team up and these people that already don't like each other to unite against the common enemy, and so forth, so forth, and I could not drop anybody's name because that's just cheating A, and that's plain gossip. I'm not going to do that. So I just did not drop a single name, right? And I had to give myself somewhat of a challenge. I had to take in consideration that there's the girls' changing room, which I have no control what goes on in there, so I have to send in 
little seeds of thought in there and see what they come out with and just try to manipulate this whole thing. I was much more of a dick when I was younger. I was a lot less sympathetic and I was a huge asshole. But I was having fun, and that was the only way that I could think of having fun at that time. By the end of the night, we finally got out of there. I, did, I didn't fully realize how, how effective this was, be, but my sister was just in tears. She was crying, and she was just like going off to my mom, like, I can't believe it, and these people hate each other, and these people said this about that, and that, and that. My mom's like, oh my god, this is horrible, like, this turned into such a mess, and I was like, I might have had a little something to do with that. Uh, after that, it exploded. A civil war broke out amongst our dance studio. There was a clear line drawn with these girls, their moms on this side, and these girls with their moms on this side, and they hated each other's guts. It kind of backfired in me because from then on, every single time that I went to any sort of event or hung out with anybody, all I would hear is, what a bunch of bitches these girls were and how horrible and the things that they did and blah blah blah. So it just, and being annoyed and fed up with drama, I just kind of created more drama. Now, I would like to take credit for that war and say that somehow my, uh, my master plan, my evil genius uh, created that. But really, there was mounting tension and it would have happened eventually. I was just, I was the black hand that shot Franz Ferdinand and sparked it all. Um, I can't take full credit for it. So there you have it. That is probably the worst thing that I have done in my life. The biggest thing that I've created. And I, I don't can't say that I'm proud of it, but it's, it's really the most momentous thing that I've ever done. And um, so there you have it. That is how I celebrate Valentine's Day. Let me know what you guys have planned, and uh, I will talk to you guys later. Have a good one.